Slippy Sodor. It was a very special day on the island of Sodor. The Mr. Bubbles clown show was coming to town. Mr. Bubbles was famous. He could blow the biggest bubbles ever seen. All the engines were happy and excited. Except for Thomas. He had a cracked funnel and had to puff to the steamworks for repairs. At the steamworks, everything was huffing and puffing and steaming and wishing. Everything except Thomas. He waited sadly on the turntable for Victor to arrive. Thomas didn't like it when he needed repairs. It meant waiting inside and not having fun out on his branch line. Don't look so miserable, Thomas. We'll find you a nice spare funnel and have you out and about in no time. Kevin, let's see what we have for our good friend Thomas. Yes, boss. Coming right up. Sorry, boss. It was a slip of the hook. Oh, Kevin. Well, that won't do at all, my friend. This funnel is much too small. Kevin, let's try something a little larger. Yes, boss. Right away, boss. Suffering Sodor, Kevin. What are you doing? Sorry, boss. It was a slip of the hook. Yes, we know, Kevin. We know. Try this one for size, Thomas. No, 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 no. This one is too large. We only have one more spare funnel, boss. I'll be back in two toots of a whistle. Let's hope it's a good fit, my friend, or you'll be here for quite a while. <sighs> Here it is, Thomas! Oops! <laughs> Sorry, Thomas! It was a slip of the... Hook! I know, Kevin. I know. Magnificent! A perfect fit! <laughs> this funnel makes me feel silly. Not at all, my friend. It's... it's... splendid. It will help you puff very well until your old funnel is fixed. Now shuffle along. I hear that Mr. Bubbles has a very special special for you at Brendam Docks. Thomas chuffed into Brendam. He was very unhappy. Mr. Bubbles was waiting. He was very happy to see Thomas. Hello, Thomas. Mr. Bubbles has a very important job for you, Thomas. This is my very special bubble liquid. It makes the biggest bubbles you have ever seen. I need it for my show this afternoon. Please take it to Knapford Station. So Thomas backed up slowly and carefully to the flatbed and was coupled up. Now you mustn't spill any of the liquid, Thomas. Puff slowly and carefully. Yes, sir. We'll meet you at Knapford. Then James chuffed up. Hello, Thomas. That's a funny funnel. <laughs> Thomas didn't want a funny funnel. He wanted his old funnel back. And he didn't like James laughing at his funny funnel. So Thomas pumped his pistons and raced away as quickly as he could. He forgot all about going slowly and carefully. Later, Thomas stopped at a crossing. He saw Gordon. Hello, Thomas. Oh, that's a funny funnel. <laughs> Thomas didn't want a funny funnel. He wanted his old funnel back. And he didn't like Gordon laughing at his funny funnel. So Thomas pumped his pistons and raced away from Gordon as quickly as he could. He wasn't thinking about going slowly and carefully. Bubble liquid splished out and splashed onto the road. But Thomas didn't notice. Sir Topham Hatt was driving Mr. Bubbles on the road. Then there was trouble. The car skidded and skated right into a muddy ditch. <laughs> Thomas raced on. He stopped at a signal and saw Henry in a siding. Hello, Thomas. Oh, that's a funny funnel. <laughs> Thomas didn't want a funny funnel. He wanted his old funnel back. And he didn't like Henry laughing at his funny funnel. So Thomas pumped his pistons and raced away from Henry as quickly as he could. He still wasn't thinking about going slowly and carefully. 
Sir Topham Hatt and Mr. Bubbles drove toward a bridge. Slow down, Thomas! You're spilling my bubble liquid! But Thomas didn't hear that. More bubble liquid splashed out and splashed onto the road. Sir Topham Hatt's car skidded and skated right into a haystack. But Thomas didn't notice. He went even faster. And so did Sir Topham Hatt and Mr. Bubbles. Thomas didn't see them, but he did see a red signal. Thomas put on his brakes. More bubble liquid splished out and splashed onto the road. Sir Topham Hatt's car skidded and skated right into a pond. But Thomas was too worried about his funny funnel to notice. He raced on towards Napford. At last, Thomas puffed into Napford, just as Sir Topham Hatt and Mr. Bubbles arrived. Sir Topham Hatt was very cross. Thomas, you were going much too fast. The special bubble liquid splished and splashed out of the tank. And now the tank is empty. And it's almost time for my show to start. The children will be very disappointed. Thomas felt terrible. I'm sorry, sir. The only special bubble liquid left is at Brendam Docks. Now, there isn't time to pick it up before the show. Yes, there is. I'm sure I can puff to Brendan and back in time for your show. Very well, Thomas. But this time, you must be careful. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. And Thomas chuffed quickly away. Soon, Thomas arrived back at Brendam Docks. A new tank of bubble liquid was loaded onto his flatbed, and Thomas puffed carefully away. Thomas saw Edward at a crossing. Hello, Thomas. That's a funny funnel. <laughs> Thomas didn't like Edward laughing at his funny funnel. But this time, Thomas didn't pump his pistons and race away from Edward as quickly as he could. He chucked carefully onto Napford. Then, Thomas puffed past some children. The children saw his funny funnel. They were excited. They thought Thomas was going to be part of Mr. Bubbles' show. Thomas was surprised. He gave the children an extra loud toot. The children laughed even more. Thomas liked to see the children laughing. They're laughing at my funny funnel. It makes them happy. And that made Thomas happy. Thomas steamed back into Napford. The children cheered. Well done, Thomas. You haven't spilled one drop of my special bubble liquid. And you're just in time for my show. Later, the children clapped and cheered at the Mr. Bubbles Clown Show. They had never seen such big bubbles. Then, the children spotted that Thomas's funny funnel looked just like Mr. Bubbles' hat. Thank you, Thomas. The funniest engine on Sodor. Soon, everyone was laughing, and Thomas most of all.